Hey, this is Auntie Fee about them facts. How you doing? It's been one of them days. So another former, well, a former NFL player, Vontae Davis, found dead in his home in Florida. Looked like he was on top of the world. Living his best life. Was at the Grammys not too long ago. Really? Let's check it out. But before we do, can we sip a little? What about this aviance tonight? What'd it do, huh? We sipping. Yes, indeed, honey. Vante Davis. Overflowing with joy and happiness. Luxury transportation. Today we have a wellness retreat for the concierge girls. It's going to be good times, good vibes, fun. More importantly, health is wealth. So he was into health. What? Load up the drink. What I said ain't gonna play. It's I have been making for me. I'm having my way. Said I hear heaven is great. The third me go out. Take. Luxury transportation. He was found deceased today. Part of that Miami scene. Oh, Lord. So it's his former NFL cornerback, Vontae Davis, 35, found dead in Florida mansion, police say. Oh, Davis was the former Pro Bowl cornerback, made headlines in 2018 by retiring at halftime when he played with the Buffalo Bills. He was 35. A house assistant. Okay. So five players not involved. Okay, 
So we have one NFL player who did a hit and run in Dallas, and we have another former NFL player found uh, unalived in his Miami, Florida mansion. Uh, he uh, suited up for the Dolphins, the Colts, and the Bills. Davis is twice named in the to the Pro Bowl. So he was he was doing his thing. Retired at halftime. I think I remember that. That's his brother. Vernon. His older brother Vernon Davis played tight end San Francisco 49ers and the Denver Broncos in Washington before he retired in 2020. He, he did have an infectious spot, a smile. Press to his family. This car is involved in a high-speed crash. It happened Saturday on Central Expressway. Six cars became tangled in the chain reaction wreck, leading to people getting hurt, the highway being shut down for hours, and now a search to talk to a Super Bowl-winning NFL player. Alicia Barrera has the latest. This afternoon, police still needing to talk to Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice about where he was Saturday evening. This video of Rice taken after the Chiefs rookie Super Bowl win. Now, questions continue to swirl as to who was behind the wheel of the two luxury sports vehicles seen racing down North Central Expressway, losing control and crashing into four vehicles near University Boulevard. A total of five men were pictured walking away from the scene that left several injured. The Lamborghini that is seen hitting the center median. What I don't understand is why you'd be drag racing in, in a, an SUV in the first place. And Listed on the Dallas-based luxury car rental website, Classic Lifestyle. We had an agreement with Mr. Rice in order to provide that lease. And under our contract, he was still supposed to be the only one driving the vehicle. Corvette on the right, according oh, so to our partners at the Dallas car. Morning News. Questions continue to swirl as to who was behind the wheel of the two luxury sports vehicles seen racing down North Central Expressway, losing control, and crashing into four vehicles near University Boulevard. A total of five men were pictured walking away from the scene that left several injured. The Lamborghini that is seen hitting the center median. What I don't understand is why you'd be drag racing in, in a, an SUV oh, in the first wow. place. And Listed on the Dallas-based luxury car rental website, Classic Lifestyle. We had an agreement with Mr. Rice in order to provide that lease. And under our contract, he was still supposed to be the only one driving the vehicle. Corvette on the right, according to our partners at the Dallas Morning News, is also registered or leased to the North Texas native and Chiefs star rookie. This afternoon, Rice's attorney, Royce West, sending us a statement that reads in part, Rasheed is cooperating with local authorities and will take all necessary steps to address the situation responsibly. And we once again reached out to Dallas police to confirm if they've in fact been able to speak to Rice. In an email to NBC5, they tell us they've been able to speak to Rice's legal team, however, have yet to interview Rice or any potentially individual involved in Saturday's crash. In Dallas, Alicia Barrera, NBC.